Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you 50 plus tips and tricks for Galaxy Note 4. There are a lot of features that you might not know about your device, so let's get started. You can zoom into stuffs using S Pen. Use it to magnify content in the screen. You can activate this feature from Settings, Accessibility, Vision, then Hover Zoom. From here, you can set the magnifier size and the zoom percentage as well. You can use S Pen to type by writing. In the typing area, by hovering S Pen on the screen, you'll have a circle with T in it. Pressing it will allow you to write instead of typing. To enable this feature, you need to go to Settings, Device, S Pen and enable Direct Input. The recognition is accurate as well. From Settings, Personalization, Accessibility, Dexterity and Integration, so you can use a motion to turn on the screen without even touching the screen. You just need to wave your hand over the screen. It uses the proximity sensor to enable this feature. This feature will be handy to check the time and notifications when the device is resting on the table. For one hand uses, you can enable one hand mode in Note 4. Just flick in and out from the right corner or the left corner and the screen size will shrink, making it easier to reach with your thumb. You can resize and replace this screen also. Below, you will find soft keys for navigation and controlling volume. You will find one hand operation in settings, one hand operation. There, you will find options for one hand input which will reduce the size of dialer and keyboard. Side key panel will provide soft keys on home screen which can easily be hidden. You can also change its position. Long pressing the recent app button will act as a menu button in every application. You can answer calls and turn off alarm by tapping button instead of dragging it. If you want this easy mode, you can enable it from settings, accessibility and enable single tap mode. Note 4 has some great new multitasking features like you can open any application in a window. You just need to drag it from the top left corner. Then you can resize it, move it or minimize it as a bubble. It's a great feature to have and it really helps you to get the most out of your phone. Inside settings, system, storage, you will find cache data. So from here, you can free up memory used by unuseful files and use it for storing other files. Just tap it and you can clear it. From system, about device, tapping build number 7 times will reveal developer option. From here you can make the animations faster, so that the phone feels a lot more faster than before. From settings, device, S Pen, you can enable S Pen alerts. So it will alert you when you leave S Pen and walk away, without attaching it. Now from camera, you can choose to take wide angle selfies. It will let you to take 120 degree wide angle selfies. While using front camera, you can use the heart rate sensor as a shutter button. You can even take selfies with the rear camera. From mode, select rear cam selfie. It will allow you to select the size of the frame and it will auto focus on the face before taking a photo. There are few modes pre-installed in this phone like selective focus, which will allow you to focus on a picture after it's taken. But you can download even more from here. Modes like sound and shot, surround shot, which is like photo spare in Nexus devices, and much more. From Note 4, you can shoot slow mo videos at 240 frames per second at 720p. You can even shoot fast motion videos. 
All these options can be found from settings, then recording mode. You can bump the video resolution to 4K from here as well. Then you can choose what you want to do with the volume keys. Take pictures, record video or use it to zoom. You can even use voice commands to take picture or a video. You just need to say the keywords. You can create a shortcut to load two applications in multi-window from here. So whenever you click it, two applications will be opened in multi-window mode, saving you some valuable seconds. Inside SL, there are some new options to measure UV intensity, concentration of oxygen in the blood and measure stress. It's fun to play with these new features. From system, power saving, you will have several options for regular power saving mode and ultra power saving mode. From power saving, you can choose to restrict background data so that no applications can utilize your mobile data in background. Then you can restrict performance, limit the maximum use of CPU and decrease screen brightness. You can also turn off the key light to save battery. Capture. Vibration feedback will Record also be video. turned off if this option is enabled. Then there is grayscale mode, which turns the display in a black and white screen. As Note 4 has an AMOLED screen, it will surely help to save battery and get more screen time. Then there is ultra power saving mode, giving you battery for hours in less than 5% of battery. In this mode, you are allowed to use some basic applications like internet, phone, Facebook, calculator and other few applications. From settings, device, you will have motion and gestures. Many of the motion and gestures features from its predecessor have made its way to Note 4. Direct call allows you to call a contact by bringing a contact detail on your phone and then bringing the device close to your ear. Smart alert is a very useful one. When you pick up your device, it will vibrate to notify you about missed calls and messages. Mute, pause will allow you to mute incoming calls by a gesture or a motion. You can place your palm in the screen or turn the device over to mute incoming calls. Then there is palm swipe. With this feature you can take a screenshot by swiping your palm over the screen. From settings, S Pen, you can enable Air View so that you can use S Pen to scroll through a list or preview a link just by hovering S Pen on the screen. You can increase the touch sensitivity of the screen by just enabling this feature. This feature can also be found on the display. So with this feature enabled, you can use your phone while wearing gloves. Note 4 lets you to set the lock screen wallpaper to change automatically according to location's weather or your interest. You can find this option in settings, display and wallpaper, wallpaper and tap lock screen. Below, you'll find the option to set weather or interest. My interest option lets you to choose the category and will show you high quality wallpapers in lock screen. Private mode lets you to hide items from video, voice recorder, music, gallery, file manager and S node. You can find this option in settings, personalization, private mode. You can use your fingerprint as a security method also. Then you can move files to private mode very easily. To switch to private mode, you need to enable it from the drop down menu and authenticate it. From settings, personalization, easy mode, you can activate easy mode to bring a simpler layout with much bigger icons. If you somehow find the Note 4's UI very complicated, easy mode will be useful. You can pin action memo as a widget in the home screen, which might be useful if you don't want to forget anything, just put it as a note in the home screen. To do this, you just need to hold the pin option here and you will be able to put it as a widget in the home screen. Note 4's voice recorder has several modes of voice recording. Note 4 has 3 mics with directional voice recording. 
The interview mode makes the recording microphone sense sound from two directions. Then there is meeting mode. The voice memo records your voice and converts them into text. Note 4 lets you to change the font size and font type. Just go to settings, display and wallpaper and to font. From there you can change the font size and the font type. You can even download more fonts. From settings, device, S Pen, you can choose detachment option. Set it to none or accent memo. Then you can change the attach and detach sound also. Note 4 has new S Pen addition. Smart Select lets you to select various type of information like text, image or a link by simply dragging the stylus over the content and store it in a container and do whatever you want with it. You can extract text from that image and use it to add an event or find location in Google Maps. From S Pen Wizard, you can take a photo note which lets you to create editable photos of physically written text. Inside settings, accessibility, hearing, you will find sound detectors. Enabling this feature will allow you whenever this phone detects a baby crying or a doorbell. You will need to record the sound of the doorbell for better accuracy. Whenever you are in the home screen, you can say OK Google to launch Google Now and say your command. This feature only works in the home screen though. Blocking mode allows you to block incoming calls, alarms and notifications. You can set the time if you want your phone to activate this feature at that time. Below you will find options to enable some contacts even in blocking mode. You can find blocking mode in settings, personalization, blocking mode. Inside messaging app settings, you can add a spam number and a phrase so that all the messages from that number and messages containing that phrase will be removed. Inside Note 4's music applications menu, you will find music square, which categorizes the song by analyzing them so that you can create a mood based playlist with a single tap. If you don't like the flipboard in the home screen, you can disable it by long pressing the recent app button, then home screen settings and disabling flipboard okay, briefing. If you don't use the S voice and don't want it to open with the double tap of the home button, you can disable it from the settings of S voice. Disabling it will also make the home button work faster as it won't wait for another tap now. From settings, display, screen mode, you can change the display mode. Adaptive display sets the display color, saturation automatically. And below, there are other modes for watching movies or viewing photos. So that's all about this video. Hope you guys have found some new features about your device. And if you know of any other cool tips and tricks for Note 4, do comment below and I will try to compile it and present it in an another video. So that's all, do subscribe for more videos and follow me on social medias. The links are below in the description box. Thanks for watching and have a great day.